Okay, so today's video is going to be on the Anzani Super Single 5 horsepower 2 stroke marine engine. And um, pretty much as you can see, it's had a lot of the pieces stripped off it. You can see that the head's gone, the ignition's gone, the flywheel, and the um, carburetor's gone. What I've been doing is just cleaning it up, really. So it's all slowly getting cleaned up. That was all covered in black carbon. And if you remember me saying, it was stiff to turn over and I was hoping it wouldn't be anything inside being the problem and it turned out it wasn't so if we just pull these other pieces over so we've got the head and that sits like that and then we've got a carburetor which I also kind of took apart and cleaned so that goes on there this is just loosely putting it together while I'm here and then we've got the ignition we need to move the firewheel first Flywheel's the heaviest bit. So we've got the flywheel, it's missing two screws, but that's not a problem because it holds it still. And if we look on the other side, it's completely corroded and rusted and nasty, all nasty gunk stuff. And also, if you look here, where there's a line going along there, that, hang on, oh, bugger, that sits inside here. So that's that, that, that this rim is up to where that line is. So if it's corroded over with this weird corrosion or muck or whatever you want to call it that's on on these flywheels it's like a it's like a form of rust if well not rust but you know what I mean. Um you need a wire brush to get it off and everything. But um so yeah it, if there's a lot of that on it it will stop it from spinning or it will um just make it so it's harder to turn over anyway. So I'm going to have to get this in the back vise and then get the drill with the wire brush attachment and go all over it and strip it of all this nasty stuff on it. I'm going to do the same with all that. These points in the, the ignition is all rusty and everything. So I'm going to have to do inside there as well. Um, which isn't a problem because nicely the engine turns over without any problem. Um, it's starting to shine up nicely actually because I've just, um, well before I'd shined it up, see there's the piston, and uh, cleaned up the top of the head. So um, yeah, it's coming along nicely. It won't take much to get going, hopefully, um, as long as the coil's not dead. Um, but yeah, it's, it's coming along nicely. I'm happy with it at the moment. So. Um, should be alright. It might. It'll probably be quite easy to make a little base for it as well. So that's always good. And um, just need to sort up a little water tank. Probably be like a. Could even be like a gas bottle. Actually, I've got one. Which is down the side, which is you know, see that gas bottle there. The not the neck size up, which is scattered around at the moment. Not that size, but the bigger size. So the one up from that. It's a bit rusty and whatnot, but it could be made into a um, water tank, so that'd be alright. Um, you need a pump to pump it through, and I might have one of them, so. Oh, yes, I didn't say. Um, I did have to cut that off, which was a shame, but I'm not going to be using the handle or the steering arm, so it's not that much of a problem. Let's take you in here. There's a little pump here, which I got. I don't know whether it's oil or water. I've been told it was oil, but he didn't really know. He said it could be oil. Uh, but it looks like it's had water in it because it's quite rusty. Oh shit, it's falling. Um, anyway, so I've got a little pump that might fit it. If I put a pulley on it. Uh, go on, puppy. There you go. But yeah, it's um, going along nicely. So uh, I'll keep you updated, this is part one of the Anzani Super Single 5 horsepower outboard engine restoration part one. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video, and uh, don't forget to leave a like, a comment and subscribe.